First of all, take the C clips off, eliminate all the brakes, throw them in the trash. Next, C clips out, pull the axle out. Next thing up, heat these two little bolts up, unless you want to snap them off. Take them out, the plate will be loose, and you got to get this off. The big 22 on the back, the best bet's cutting it off. As soon as you cut that off, the whole plate will come off. Make sure you take the line off the back. And there you go. Next in line, we're going to take the saws off. We're going to go right underneath this little circle mark. Cut that right off. Out with your left, and you're going to drill four holes to match the plate. Drill the bottom two, bolt it together, and then drill the top two. Now that the bottom two bolts are drilled, I'll tighten them up and drill right through the plate and get the top two holes. Now that uh, that is say, together, you said it was GM what? I don't know. It's, now just for purposes, we're going to stick a rotor on here. Got the rotor on there. Then the caliper will bolt right on behind it. As you can see, 80 style El Camino. Now got this brake. You will have to do some uh, cutting and flaring. To make the uh, brake lines work but uh if you know how to do that you're fine i would actually take a set of bubbles and flare the back sides and put them into the block off the regal i mean off the el camino now you will need at least a 16 or better unless you got a set of these bad boys these 